There you go. And we are live. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone who's watching us right now. My name is Laville. I'm coming to you live from Alberta, Canada. It Right now, it's 7.01 a.m. So early. I will be one of your hosts for today's episode 2, season 3 of Moms on a Mission. So Moms on a Mission is actually put together by moms from different locations, different backgrounds, different personalities, and even different seasons in their respective motherhood journeys in hopes to share, inspire, and show solidarity with moms out there by, I guess, sharing and talking about our adventures and misadventures as moms. So in our previous episode, you've watched moms from Canada, the Philippines, and Australia, they talked about why more and more moms or people in general are preferring a, a work from home or a more hybrid setup, if not for unemployment, then for a business that they can do anywhere, anytime. So in this episode, I will be joined by moms from the Philippines and the United Kingdom. So without further ado, let me call in the tribe, starting with Mommy Ayin. Hello, everyone. Hi. Good evening from the Philippines. It's 10 p.m. year 10.02 to be exact. Um, I'm Ayin. I'm a stay-at-home <laughs> mom um, of my four-year-old daughter, and I'm a digital business owner for two years now, and um, now also a digital business coach. There. Thank you. Next, we have Mommy Krista. Hi, everyone. Good evening from my side of the globe. I am Krista, a working mom of two girls from Metro Manila, Philippines, and I'm also a digital business owner for two years now. <laughs> Thanks. Last but not least, our Londoner, <laughs> Mommy <laughs> Che. Hi, everyone. I am Precious. You can call me Che Che. That's my nickname. Um, I am a mom of two daughters. Uh, they're eight and six years old. I'm mm -hmm. a wife. I'm a nurse manager and a digital entrepreneur for two years as well. So yeah, welcome from London. It's currently 2 p.m. from this side of the the, the world. <laughs> Hi, everyone. 2 p.m. in London. Yes. What time is it in, in Manila? 10. 10. And it's yeah. 7 a.m. here. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I can hear someone here <laughs> in Alberta. Okay, I think I think we have a good mix of moms in this episode. Not only do we mm -hmm. come from different time zones, different stages in motherhood, because some of us have toddlers, the in-betweeners, and mm -hmm. almost teens. But we yes. also have a good mix of stay-at-home moms and employed moms. I guess mm -hmm. let's not call them working moms but employed moms because i don't want to use the term working mom because mm -hmm. all moms whether you're employed self-employed or stay-at-home moms you're all working <laughs> it's True. it's just that as a stay-at-home mom you don't get paid but it's still a lot of work so by mm -hmm. the way for those who uh for those who are watching us right now let us know where you're watching us from, even those who will watch the replay later on. Leave your comments below. We will try to read them, even your questions. We can get to them on this episode or the next. So today's topic is why an online business is a good option or a good plan B, not only for parents, but for people in general. So who wants to start? <laughs> Me. Okay. <laughs> yes, of course. Um. Uh, first, I think, hands down, um, one of my top considerations in choosing an online or digital business is its flexibility. I'm sure uh, for you, for, for, for you mommies, it's also the same. But uh, for me, I think um, I really love the business because it provides you with limitless freedom in a lot of ways. Uh, you get to decide where to work since it's mobile. Uh, you only need Wi-Fi and a cell phone or computer. And um, our family loves outdoors and going out. And we can bring our business anywhere we go. May it be just running an errand for groceries or 
um, just driving around the metro, the metro Manila and nearby provinces during the weekend. And I think if it were a traditional business, we'll be worried and hesitant to go on family vacations. Um, because we have to close our physical shop or we'll be tied up on our desk, right? So, um, and it's uh, something that my family won't agree to do in that, that kind of setup because my husband is already working full-time. And as a stay-at-home mom, I can't afford to have that same, this, uh, same business setup or work set, setup like, uh, because I have my daughter to take care of. And I think owning a business... Uh, a digital business, you know, uh, you don't need to worry about having to close your shop because we don't have to. You can literally manage um, your business when, um, for example, I'm in the car, when I'm stuck in the traffic, or I can quickly check my business when we are in the beach, our favorite place. And um, you can even earn while you're on vacation or spending family time. And it's really a business lead, um, literally in your pocket. Apart from that, I think um, it's also up to you when you want to work or how many hours you want to work. As long as you set your business in an efficient way. Um, take note, it's a, there's a caveat there, an efficient way. So, which is perfect because our business comes with most the most reliable tools and automated business system. So, that's why we can confidently enjoy time flexibility. Uh, with that, mm -hmm. I can create business schedule that works for me and my fam family. And I have a choice on what to focus on every day. My husband, our health, um, my loved ones, especially my daughter. And of course, all of us has um all of us um have children here. And if you have a toddler, I'm sure you can relate with me, mommies. That mm -hmm. they are very demanding of your time and att attention. So and they, always very energetic. Yes. <laughs> True. <laughs> yes. And they don't have that patient yet to wait so that when yeah. they want your attention, they want it now. So yeah. in those cases, I just can pause and reschedule my business hours. So that that's, mm. that's it. I really love the business because um, you can also earn while you, even if you pause in your, in your business. Plus, if I can just quickly share, we just had an unexpected family situation early this month. We, we had to pause for, um, ev uh, from everything, from work, from business for almost two weeks. But still, our business generated us income because it's on the internet and we have reliable system. So th we didn't need uh, we didn't need to be there twenty four seven manually manning our business. Okay, but just as um um just uh, a word of caution. Sorry, before I I I end my my sharing. Um um, if you're considering a digital business, don't mistake the freedom from the time to slack off. Because like yeah, any yeah. other business, it requires um, consistency, uh, discipline. Mm. So you also have to put your effort on it. <laughs> there. <laughs> I totally That's agree true. with you, Ayin. So, you know, yes to flexibility. Mm -hmm. It's also one of the reasons why my husband and I decided to be digital business owners. Mm -hmm. And it was all made possible thanks to our automated system. So just to give you a background... My husband is an OFW, so he's out of the country. He's in another country working while I'm the one in charge with our kids and our household. So on top of that, I also work full-time as a sales professional. So we know how demanding a sales job can be. And, you know, we cannot be employees forever. So that's why we were always looking for, for plan B. Uh, before we tried several businesses so traditional ones and i know how hard it is to manage a traditional business because it required a lot of time and effort and you know you have to be present in the day-to-day -day operations otherwise uh you know it it won't generate um income if you know uh you your um salesperson would would quit or would have would have some issues too so you have to be present you have to be able to to uh just leave everything and focus your time on the business but it's not possible so 
a lot of employees like me, they cannot do that. So a, tradi a, a traditional business is not possible for us. With our plug and play system, our business was up and running in two weeks time. So it works in the background while I'm busy with my kids and my eight to, eight, uh, eight to five job. I mean, who doesn't want to see results after a long day at work, right? Mm -hmm. So nowadays yeah. we have to take advantage of technology. So it's really one of the reasons why we, we love this, this business. We use smart appliances now. Who doesn't have an automatic washing machine, um, rice mm -hmm. cooker, air fryer, and you know, air even fryer. To <laughs> 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 make our lives easier. So why not make technology um why why not use it to generate income for your family? Mm -hmm. So yes. this, this is a good um plan B, this digital business is a good plan B for us and we intend to make it our plan A real soon. So that's uh, that's our plan, my yes. husband and I. Thanks, Thanks Krista. So before I add my bit, what I like about um, being a digital entrepreneur, let's just um, quickly read the comments of the people who are currently watching. <laughs> from Liz uh, Domingo. Hello, mommies. Watching from Dubai. Hello, hello hi, Liz. Liz. And Angelica. Hi, mommies. Watching from Laguna PH. Hi, hello, Angel. Thanks for watching. Hi. Steffi. Hi, mom. She's from Doha, Qatar. Or oh, you see how global Hello. this is already. Yeah. <laughs> True, right? Um, J. Lu, good evening from the PH. Hi, J. Lu. And Jell. Oh, we have got loads of um, followers watching. Jell, yes, the flexibility. Perfect for busy moms. Yes. Thanks right. for watching and tuning in. So yeah, you can see already how global um, <laughs> our commenters are, our current watchers. <laughs> Um, so, what I like most uh, as well, on top of what has already been said, so first we had flexibility, next is plug and play. It all really is very advantageous to uh, moms like us. For me, I am uh, I work part, uh, full time, um, but even though um, what I wanted to highlight is this being global. So we already mm -hmm. said it's internet based. So obviously, if it's internet based, then the reach is not limited to where you are located. It's you yeah. know it's endless. You can reach borders. You can um, uh, use this business to reach people around the globe. Moms like you, people who can resonate with your story um, from everywhere around the world, and you don't need a passport or you know you don't need to visa, travel no using visa. a visa, <laughs> visa applications, and all no travel activities. restrictions. Yes, yes. especially. <laughs> No PCR tests and all these young, uh, quarantine. Because, yes, because currently, you know, we cannot um, take it away that we are still in a situation globally. But because it's internet based, we don't have to stop. We don't have to face recession and close up our um, digital business because it's internet based and it's global. So you don't have to chase family members, chase friends because we have effective systems and a world class training so that we would um, know how to to target clients everywhere from around the world. So like for me, I even have partners from Israel, from Singapore, and you know, sky's the limit really. So it's, and now at, at, we are represented from different parts of the globe, right? Canada and PH, and now, now I'm based in, in the UK. And because this business is also, um, you know, we met, we help each other, we support each other, um, actually, the mentoring is unlimited and, you know, we have different time zones and if you have, you know, trouble or you're stuck with something, you can just, you're just, um, they are just a text away um, mm -hmm. and people will respond to you. So, and also there's kind of a fear that, you know, um, the market will be saturated because, you know, as, as normal local businesses are, um, traditional business. You have to survey where you are located, where you put up your shop, your fiscal shop, or your business. And that's where you have to dig deep in order to get those customers, um, you know, maybe whatever your business would be. For example, your shop, whoever would be your buyers and all that. But with uh, a digital business, that's not, it's, it's, it's not part of the deal. Because as I said mm -hmm. to you before, we can reach anyone from around the globe. And also... Um, since we also um, have our own brand, so like for me, um, we are a couple, I'm a mom, I'm a nurse, 
so I can actually, um, you know, reach out to my co-nurses everywhere around the globe. Maybe Filipinos are not. Yeah. Because as you know, Filipinos are everywhere, especially nurses. So, you know, there's there's no saturation. Um, and yeah, that's really one of the good things I really like about this business. How about you guys? <laughs> Thanks, Pamicha. That's true. You're not limited to your location. To you're not competing over local markets. No, I think mm -hmm. another advantage of an online business, especially for those who have not engaged in any business before, or let's just say a newbie entrepreneur who just wants to see if if this is for her, <laughs> or she just wants to get her feet wet. An online business has a relatively lower risk because it has lower investment cost okay mm -hmm. so i think we have to also clarify that what we promote is not like a job that you do the work first then you get paid for it mm -hmm. for it every two weeks okay mm -hmm. we do we as with any business we do have a startup commitment but mm -hmm. yes. here in canada i can say that our investment cost is relatively lower compared to when I would put up a traditional brick and mortar business that I need to invest in my products mm. and the service, my physical store, my staff, my what mm. machines, appliances, I don't know, furniture, facilities, yes, and insurance and all, all those. So for a newbie entrepreneur like myself, it can be a lot to take in. I can't imagine, especially with what's been going on for the past two years, all the uncertainties and the restrictions mm. that we've been having. I'm sure a lot of brick and mortar businesses have really suffered the great loss. So compared yes. to traditional businesses, an online business still has a lower investment cost. And yes. as what you have mentioned, it's really uh, much easier to set up and manage and it's global. Mm -hmm. But of course, I'm not discouraging people from starting their own brick and mortar mm -hmm. businesses if that's your passion. But it won't hurt to also keep an open mind and consider an online business especially with what's happening in the world right now but if you have tons of extra and you want to explore have <laughs> both do both online yes. and traditional and what else i guess just a word of caution i guess do your due diligence research mm -hmm. tons of online business options that you can try out there just make sure that it's legit because here yes. the business the business, online business model, online business system that we promote is totally legit. Here in Canada, we get our T4As. T, yes, T4As that we use to file for our income taxes. Mm -hmm. How about in UK, Che? What's the setup? So um, we we apply ourselves as uh, sole traders. So it's a self-assessment. You have to pass an application wherein you have an account of everything. So for me, because I'm working full-time, I have to declare my full-time salary as well as everything else. Like let's say the coming in and out expenses plus um, all the income that I get from this digital business. And then what happens here is that you declare it like a year after and it's online. I just actually passed it this week. Um, the deadline yeah. is Monday. Are you online? Oh, <laughs> no, yes. Me too. So okay. Yeah, so can you imagine if it was just like um, a physical you have to queue or you have to go to i don't know government um establishments in order to submit these requirements it would have been chaotic to to do that yeah. for all business owners so it's such um like it, it only mm -hmm. proves that you know on online is the way to go because it's less chaotic it's you know no fuss you just have to prepare everything it's electronic there's no type mess you know, you can edit, you know, it's it's not it's not something so tedious as if when you're going to a physical setup to file taxes. Yes. So yeah, it was all online and then everything mm -hmm. I can view online, my submission, yeah. whatever I owe to pay and all that, it will all be available for me online in my own account. So it's just so easier compared to way, way back ages ago <laughs> when we didn't have the internet. Yeah. Yes, yeah. It's actually the same here in the Philippines. So we file our taxes online. We pay online too. So our business is registered uh, with the BIR. We pay our taxes uh, quarterly. And, you know, as what you other moms have shared, we pay our taxes wherever our business is registered. So isn't it enough proof 
that our digital business is 100% legitimate. Don't you agree, moms? Yes. Okay, yes, so, yes, too. Mm-hmm. Yes, so let's read another comment from Liz True. Due diligence is very important. Huwag agad-agad susugod sa negosyo ng hindi properly informed. Yes, tama. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Like with everything else, we have to think everything through before deciding on something. So yes. thanks, thank you, Liz. Ayin, you have something to add? Ah uh, yes, um, I think Mel is also watching from the Philippines. Hello, yes. Mel. Hi, Mel. <laughs> Hi, Mel. Hi, Mel. Liz, Liz. yay for flexibility. There you go. There you go. Thank you, mommies. Thank you, mompreneurs. I really loved what you shared, what we shared here and to all the moms out there. It's very informative. It's a very informative discussion today. But just to recap, um, running an online business, um, it gives you freedom uh, location-wise and time-wise and even how you want to manage our business, just like us. We we have our own um, approach in our businesses. And apart from that, it can produce revenue around the clock, even while we spend our precious time with our family or maybe for those who are um, working moms like you, Che, Krista, um, you can generate income or even while we sleep, right? And like um, Christa, uh, Krista mentioned earlier, um, the business comes with the most uh, reliable tools and automated systems. So if you're a startup entrepreneur, it won't be that um, um, challenging because you are not starting from scratch. And yeah, yeah. it eliminates okay. some of the huge costs associated with running an, on, an offline business. And um, what I, I like what you said also earlier, um, Che, that the business has no geographical boundaries and it's like uh and it's unlike traditional business where your income and business result, results would depend on for example food traffic where your physical shop is right? or your network yes true, you true. some some of um the people that i uh, i coach in the business they would ask do i need to have a um Group, um, large set of friends or big network just to earn in the business. So no, you don't need to have that and you don't even have to sell. Okay. And um, just yeah. like what um, Louville said earlier, I totally agree. This business is 100% legit. Um, the startup and the co- operation costs are relatively cheaper compared to when you run a traditional business, when the business also gives, while well, the business also gives you a good return of investment. Okay, so there, um, these are just few of many benefits and features of an online business. That's why it's mommy approved, right, mommy? Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> and I yes. really hope that uh, we mommies, we, uh, ma- we mompreneurs, we provide you with useful insights so that you can weigh your options when choosing what kind of business that you want to own. So if you mm-hmm. have any questions or if you're interested to learn more about our online business, feel free to message or connect with us. Uh, we would be very happy to walk you through it. Yeah. All right? So there, that's yeah. it for our week's episode. Um, stay tuned and join us again for our next fun and informative um, episode for this February. We have a lot of um, F episodes, interesting topics lined up for you. So there, so your mom's, Mompreneurs, now signing off. <laughs> we are moms on a mission because every, every mom needs a tribe. tribe. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bye. 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 everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.